Hello everybody, welcome to episode 6 of The Gungeon. Um, that last run, plus the previous run before that, both had the same demise. Uh, that guy, Akai, I don't know what his name is, Block now, Blockhead. He's a little red guy, he's the guy that, well, uh, supposedly I think killed Manny, who is the uh, tutorial guy that you fight as you start the game. Um, I don't know what you get if you kill him. Uh, there was a cell that needed to be unlocked, so I'm assuming, uh, as that's turned up twice in two runs, that he's holding the cell key to progress um, through the game, if you will. Obviously, we get characters, unlocks for numerous things. So, I think what we're going to do is we're not going to worry too much about progressing in the level, per se. But we want to try and get that Blockner guy taken down. It seems to me, from well, from how I'm playing now, my experience that that's kind of the next step, the next part of the puzzle here. Bad damage there. Should have really taken that, but it happens. So these guys are going to use my tables, Little fuckers. Did I take a hit there? I think I took a hit. And again, no, these, these runs are not starting out well for me. Oh, Marge, old oh, faithful Marge. Now this, this is just taking the piss, this room. Just spawn a couple of those fucking meat cubes as well while you're at it. Door, so we'll have a go at unlocking that. I might find a chest through here as well, but no, we find all these stupid bastard ghosts. He went down pretty easy, uh, so I think we've got a chest over here. We've got a key, we'll use that, and uh, we've got a escape rope. Works anywhere. Now, I think I know what this does, but I've never used it. I'm assuming it just takes you out of a room that you can't quite win, can't quite beat, or put you back against the wall, no blanks. Um, but apart from that, I don't really see its usefulness, to be honest. Can roll into these guys. Did take damage. I think I rolled into him a bit too late there. Again, I'm still. This is still early days. I'm still testing out what works and what doesn't work. Um, picked up a few things on Reddit just from browsing. Um, <clears throat> not really trying to check out on anything, but just as you as you're looking around, you see things that you didn't really want to read and then you realise you done all fucked up. So, I've learned a few things that I shouldn't know, but we'll do our best to ignore them. <laughs> so unless I stumble across something, we won't talk about it. But uh, Reddit, definitely a good place to go if you want to find out um, more about this game. They've got their own dedicated one. Quite a good community in there. Wow, this is looking bad for me there. Test out the escape rope. So we've got that here. Let's use it. And hopefully it doesn't just reset the run. No, it takes us to the shop, which is really handy. Really handy because we were quite low on health, but I don't think we've got any. Uh, can't think we can afford anything. Yeah. So it didn't really make much of a difference because we're going to go through this room and probably get fucked over again. Yeah, because these little bastards shoot these stupid things out. Should be able to dodge them quite efficiently now. Should 
do so, we're going to get enough money to pick up some more health. 17, so I think that's half heart territory, was it? It was. But it's definitely worth it. So, let's make our way back to that room. So the escape route takes you through to the shop, which can be handy. Um, purely based on the fact that you're struggling. You've got a bit of money. You can't quite make it to the shop without getting screwed over. Uh, the escape route takes you straight there. So, uh, it's fairly useful there for that purpose. So, I'll take back everything I just said about it being a shit item. So I can see it's useful. If it just took you to the start of the level or, or back to some random room, that would have been nowhere near as good. But things it kind of is, is quite generous. To put you in a safe spot. So we're picking up some health here, which is handy. I'm very thirsty, I think I had to go my coffee quickly. Gaming fuel keep us going. I think part of the reason we're playing crap today is it's quite late over here. I depend on where you're watching it from, but I'm in the UK and we're coming on. Just gone about half past three in the morning, so work all day. I had some friends and family to visit as well afterwards, so it takes it out of you a bit. Right, so I think this floor looks like it's cleared. We've got nothing but a basic gun. And we've got this motherfucker. So we just casually go around and try to not get hit. Usually quite vulnerable in this position. Oh shit, hit that now. He's underneath that chandelier. We can actually hit that. Usually, give him a bit of damage, but. We want to kind of lure him down, get that on the go, but. It always drops lower than I think it's going to. Just crack on the blank there. It looks like those tables are almost all gone. Flip that one up. Now I think this is going to be it for us. Pulled by the goal once again. I mean, you're a fair distance away. It's not actually that hard to dodge. The bullets kind of spray outwards from you. It's just a fact of not being a fucking idiot. Trying to... You know, you don't have to completely dodge through these bullets and get away from them. You can sort of weave in and out quite nicely, as long as you're careful. ourselves here. <laughs> so close. So close. Well, I think we've hit the quick restart. We'll just keep on going now. <clears throat> that was a bit shit. Give it another crack, shall we? Maybe less with the reckless gaming. Easy up on the lockpick. 
we need to buy a key. I think we'll just do that. Tend to get guns that way. If I've got a decent gun, then I might just use a lot big just, just for the sake of it, but we want to play smart if we can. Try and make it back to that Blockner. I think that's his name, Blockner. If if I'm wrong, somebody correct me. Um, that'd be handy. <laughs> Stop me sounding like a dumbass. Grenades, they kind of think before they attack you. You have a, a like a half a second moment where they will stop. And what you want to do is you want to wait for them to jump. Otherwise, they jump just far enough into you to get you. So right at the last minute, and try not to walk into bullets because that's fucked. But yeah, with those grenades, right at the last minute, you want to dodge out of the way. You'll dodge those every time, just keep an eye on them, don't be too quick to dodge. Otherwise they'll catch up with you, and screw you over. That, oof, that was a close one. Risky move there. I did say I was going to stop playing Risky, but I suppose I just can't help it. Description means, let's have a look. What did it say? 2d6 plus so initial mod, semi automatic. So it sets out areas of flame. Alban Smallbore, enthralled with a variety of guns he found in the gungeon, created this spell upon casting. The welder's hand bursts into flame, allowing fireballs to be thrown like bullets. Sounds alright. Let's just teleport for the sake of it. Save us a a second. There we go, see he stopped there for just a second. We head back. Ducked out of the way last second. But I did panic for a second there, saw those grenades. Such a tiny room. Now that's pretty really nice and generous, giving us a key. That'll definitely come in handy. It seems some runs they just they want to throw guns at you, other runs. They just like take your weapon and shove it out of your ass, which is very kind. But then that's that's the rogue type of games for you. They just tell you to shove everything up your ass, and if you survive, come back to them. And they tell you to shove more stuff up your ass. Time round. Oh, we didn't see him up there. Get his foot. Just let him all over the place. One little shot, finish him off. Look at the shop teams. Like it. Hold on a key for some reason. Oh, we've got Table Tech Rage. I think that gives us a damage increase. Uh, gun friendship, I'm well, not quite sure. But they've got some good money here. But there's something up here which I don't think I've seen before. No, I've never seen this guy before. So those who come here, I think I saved him. Possibly on a run that I didn't record, actually, because I don't remember seeing him. Young Bullet should heed my teachings. Okay, so we've got Huntsman, haven't seen that. Frost Amulet, Uranium Amulet. Can't afford those. I can afford the Huntsman, but what is that? Is that a shotgun with an axe attached to it? I mean, 
we're doing okay for health. And that's only 38. We do have the flame out. Well, I think we'll have... We'll take that one. Axes of evil. So does it shoot axes? I see. I just got my curse up again. Now this curse thing doesn't seem to be doing anything. I, I guess later on in the game it might come into play. but um, So we've got 12 left. So we've got a few more floors. So a few more rooms to explore. Let's have a go. Okay. That's pretty sweet. Shotgun. Axe attacks while it's reloaded. I've never seen a red one before. Okay, so just as I say, I'm assuming that's probably got something to do with our curse. So they must be specific enemies that appear when your curse gets high, I'm guessing. Hopefully they don't show up too often because that did kind of surprise me a little bit. Did lose some health because of it as well, but so we haven't got key. We could go back and buy a key, but I might want to go buy some health. I think we'll come back to that chest, see what we do for money, how we're getting on before we leave or before we enter the boss fight. Um, so we've got this room here. Not much going on. So what have we got. I'm assuming that's going to take us directly up to our boss. But just in case I'm wrong, we'll have a quick look. I thought I bought the uh, Table Tech Rage for a minute then, but clearly I didn't. So yeah, I was right. That's my boss. So it's whack on in the shop. Twenty six. Now I'm thinking we buy some armor and we risk it with a chest. I've got a couple of weapons here, so it wouldn't be the end of the world if I didn't get anything good. But yeah, just as I suspected, this lockpick can come in very handy but a lot of the time it just gives you shit but that's just come in handy because we were looking for health as well so not too bad so I think we'll roll we'll roll with a flame hand and the huntsman I'll start with the flame hand set him on fire move over to the huntsman that might give us enough to bit of damage. I wouldn't worry about my blanks too much. So I can make it through this guy. I'm not a fan of this boss. That's not bad. At least we've got some hegem hegemina, hegemina, hegemony credits, and a butt plug. Uh, something to do with the mimics. Ring of mimic friend, unlikely ally. So, I guess that does something with our mimics that can appear. So, it makes them safer. Not actually a ring, but rather a small creature pretending to be a ring. It emits a strange psychic tone, only recognisable to mimics, preventing them from attacking. So, that takes away the risk of mimics, which is pretty handy. I've only ever come across one, I think, so far. Um, 15. So, did we go? Did we open that chest? We must have done. It's not showing up. Um, we go to the next floor. Have a quick gnash on my coffee. Noise, noise, noise. Elevator man 
and wanted it to offer the next door anyway, so just ignore that. Um, I think we'll switch back to the rogue. Rogue and flame hand. Let's get him on fire first. Get some continuous damage going on. That'd be handy. Keep that up. Seems to be taking its sweet ass time just getting the damage onto him. There we go, I think we've got there. I'm not a fan of the you know, cage faces. Cool. I'm definitely not a fan of the Marge fucking Simpson things because they're just pieces of shit. Now I can, as long as I'm smart about this, I can take on one of these at a time. No, I can't. I have to take two on at a time. It seems like this game is just listening to me and fucking trolling me whenever it gets the chance to. I say something, it contradicts me, I die. Seems like when I keep quiet, I don't do so bad. But then that could just be down to the fact that I'm trying to play and speak at the same time. So we found our shop, and we've got that primer again. Can't afford that. It's expensive. So we've got Ice Bomb. Um, some blanks, we've got blanks. Um, I mean, we want to play fairly safe. Let's, yeah, I should have bought the armor then instead, in case we get some health jobs. But <clears throat> it looks like we have chest through a no, no, just a connecting room. Okay, and miles to go to get back to the other room. <clears throat> Should have took the safer route, but I think we all know by now. Not into that. There's a lot going on in this room right off the fucking bat. And these the electric ones. Right, put out the flame hand. Just set every motherfucker on fire. Seems like we have some of the eye patches to shoot more shots out than the others. I think it looks like there's more than one of those. There is. Now this flame hand seems like you want to just set them on fire and then just pull out your other gun. Never go. I think you get more DPS by doing that. Ah, oh, bollocks. Alright, I think we'll just pull out this one and shoot it up. There we go. I think that's probably the safe bet to handle those guys. We'll swap back out. Handle these quite nicely. Rogue. Seems like that does the best. It's a good combo to, to keep them at bay as well. It does some good knockback. So if they get too close, you just have a go on that. So we come into a room, knock everyone the fuck out. <clears throat> Especially those. Wait for him to shoot. And then we have a go. Set him on fire. Give him a few bullets to the face. Working good. Should have dodged a bit faster there. But I didn't. And you get to this point here where you've got too much going on and you can't do fuck. So we've just gone from good standing to a piece of shit standing. So we've got a chest through here, it looks like. Hopefully, it's something good for us. We've got a key. Jump to 95 kind of, That looks like he could certainly do the job. So, do we have any more health? Can we afford any more health? I don't think we can. So, we're looking for 26. 
Right. Let's keep this big ass gun out for the time being then. Looks like that can sort shit out pretty quickly. Yes it can. I wonder what would happen. You could do that and then push that down. No, you can't push him in. No, okay. Thought we could get that barrel down into the pit, but okay. I'm liking this gun. I'm liking this gun. It's got a fairly small amount of ammo. But when you're fucking everything up one or two shots, it don't really matter, does it? So let's go for the risky move. Yep, yeah, we've done it. And uh, we've got some balls. Smoke bomb. Vanish. So I'm assuming that will just help us disappear if we're getting fucked over. Nothing really going up there. 22, four more money, we can get a bit of health back, we can start feeling that a little bit safer. I think that's hard, wouldn't it? But this gun makes me feel very confident. Now what do we get, three? Three. Soon as oh, sweet it just gives us just that little bit of padding, keep us alive for a little bit longer. So hopefully I can entertain for just a bit longer. You can all just stand there, watch me laugh at the mess I cause. Those purple ones, those ones. They cause some fucking issues. You see what I mean? And the pit as well. Grenades. I think I went a bit too soon. So we're back to square one. We wasted all our money on health that, in retrospect, now really doesn't matter. We've got an empty room here. I mean, we're holding on, holding on quite nicely, but I've got a feeling that that's it. So we'll set these two up here. We've got the Jolter and the Huntsman. Um, we'll try and remember to use those balls if we can. It looks like he's... Uh, I tried to press the blank. Must have been just a millisecond too fucking late. Well, we got through to the Araconda, but not too bad. Like the uh, weapons we had, we had a pretty good setup there. Just squandered by my pure lack of decent play. Uh, thank you for watching. This was episode six of Gungeon. Uh, we'll see you soon. Take care.